I, I, I'm disappointed that the young women aren't here. They're the ones that should be fighting very hard to keep their rights. And and they don't believe it's happening. They don't think it's they don't. happening. They don't. And exactly. because they've, they get grown, they've grown they're up, know what up. Know what it's like. They get for granted. They've grown up with it, and I don't yeah. think it will well, ever be taken away. But I have happened. told them, I yeah. said, they all you need is another judge yes. on the Supreme yes. Court, yes. Yes. and you're gone. Oh, no, no, that'll never happen. Well, yes, it could happen. And And with this Congress, we've got to change it, because if we don't, and not only you know, Frank Ginter, but take a look at our state house. That's right. And what do they want to do? So, um, I'm with you, and I just hope that everything will turn out right in the election. Uh, and I'm really sick of fighting, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for all you've done. I'll speak. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, Thank you. And I have a candle. I was very young. When I was in high school, I was, uh, you know, got myself as chunky. So instead of running out during the day, I ran out at night. I had my dog with me, German Shepherd. No, no one's gonna come in here with me, German Shepherd. Well, a group of kids, jocks from high school, thought it would be cool to get the crap out of Gail. They thought it was funny. And they, I, it wasn't an outright fight because I felt like I should fight. I was the youngest of six, so I fought the way I should fight, dirty. And then I got away. I tried to appeal to them. I will leave my jacket. I'll come back. This and that. Just let me bring my dog home, and I will come back. And I, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're drunk. They're not listening to any of it. So I, when I had my opportunity, I ran across the street, which was a very busy street. It was route, it was on Abington, it was one of the main drags in Massachusetts. And they ran after me and they piled on top of me. And I'm like, oh great. So I fought with all my might and my adrenaline helped me out and I got away. And from that point on, during gym class, it would not, let, let it be. They would not let it be. I don't know what was said, I don't know what was done, but the cops were not involved because at the time they didn't believe women anyway. But story, the, as the story is being told, I got away, I was lucky. The second time it happened to me, it was a date situation, I wasn't so lucky. <laughs> And if I could just come face to face with that jerk right now, he wouldn't have any teeth left. And this person right here that's supposed to be representing everyone in New Hampshire is the same face I see when I think of that situation. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And the fact that people will go to no end to deny what is going on here sickens me. I have to think, uh, maybe I should leave. I was brought up here. I was born here. And now I feel like I have to leave. Stay by. We shall not 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 be moved.